welcome back to Studio 5. When most people think about hormone problems or hormone replacement, they tend to think of menopause or the change that invariably happens to all women around the age of about 50. But did you know that hormone imbalance is a very common problem in younger women as well? Dr. Steve Jepson is joining us, and actually a good majority of our patients deal with hormone imbalance and they're younger. Yeah, and I, that's the point I wanted to make in this segment because I've talked about hormones on the show before, but I think a lot of times when women think about hormone deficiencies, we're thinking menopausal ages, estrogen deficiency, but really 50%, maybe even more than 50% of the women that we see in our office for hormone deficiency are women ages 30 to 50 who suffer from some very specific hormone deficiencies for that age group, and so that's what I wanted to talk about today. So at what age did you start looking for the signs and symptoms that we've talked about? You know, I have, I have late teenagers or 20-year-olds people in their mid-20s that, that, that suffer from some of these symptoms, but it's more common starting about age 30, 35, and then into the 40s. And the symptoms we should be looking for quickly as a so, recap? So we're going to talk about progesterone deficiency and testosterone deficiency. Those are the two most common ones that I see in 30 and 40 year olds. The symptoms of testosterone deficiency, number one is decreased sex drive, which is very common in the 30s and 40s, and a lot of, a lot of women don't know why and their husbands get very frustrated. Mm -hmm. Another problem is fatigue, depression, and insomnia, all associated with testosterone deficiency. And those are things you could just pass by as every day, oh, I'm tired, oh, I'm not sleeping well. They tie into this hormone imbalance. Well, and, and I think an important point here is that a lot of women go to their doctors and complain about these things, and their doctors just kind of brush it aside, say, well, that's just part of being 30 or 40, or more commonly say, you know what, you're depressed, here's an antidepressant, this will fix you. But then sadly, some of the side effects of the antidepressants are those same symptoms that they're trying to fix, and so it's kind of this, this never-ending circle where where the women are getting worse and worse and worse. Another perfect example is progesterone deficiency, mm -hmm. which is probably the most common hormone deficiency in, in 30 and 40 year old women. That is the number one cause of PMS. If a woman is suffering from premenstrual syndrome, so a week or two before a period, bloating, mood changes, irritability, um, that's happening because of progesterone deficiency and it's very easy to fix by replacing the progesterone. Other common symptoms, low progesterone will cause decreased sex drive. Low progesterone causes unexplained fatigue and weight gain, um, memory loss, and it's the cause of cyclical acne. So if you're noticing mm. that you're getting breakouts right before your period, it's usually because of progesterone deficiency. Well, and again, I think it's important to point out all of these symptoms and signs are things that you could just pass off as everyday yeah. life, especially if a doctor's not trained to look for those those symptoms. Well, or they're just trained to prescribe antidepressants yeah. or they're prescribed to give a woman a quick fix and they're not they're not necessarily aware of some of these hormonal changes that occur and so they don't look for them. But it's so easy to look for. I, I've, I've talked about on the show before how with a simple saliva test, you can spit into a test tube and we can know exactly what your progesterone level is and exactly what your testosterone level is. And if they're low, it's very simple to give you a prescription for a, for a compounded testosterone cream or progesterone cream, and it fixes the symptoms. It's well, the test is so simple, and I think it's worth more than anything, the peace of mind of knowing, you know, where you lie on the hormone scale, where you're in balance, where you could use some help and some pick-me-up. Right, and you can feel so much better. I mean, there's no reason to suffer with those very common symptoms that are usually ascribed to life. I mean, those are happening for a reason. Um, there's a lot of causes for fatigue, certainly, but in this age group, it's a very common cause, and it's easy to fix. And you touched on just feeling better. Are women amazed, surprised oh, at the difference once yeah. you treat them? Women come back in tears and say, you know what, it's, it's changed my life. I, I, I didn't think that I could feel this good again, and now I do. And what's sad to me about it is it's so simple, and so often they're told by their physicians that there's nothing that can be done, but, but there is. And so, I, you know, I think you'll mention tonight we're having a conference in Murray. Um, I hold these conferences a few times a year where we invite the public to come and I, I explain a little bit more about these types of hormone deficiencies and hormone imbalance and why the general medical community isn't necessarily aware. And so we're going to be holding that tonight in Murray. And I, well, there it is. It's on the screen there right now. There it is right there. Of course, so we'll put tonight, on our website as well. So tonight, 7 o'clock at the Murray City Library, public's invited. It's a free event. It is a huge topic. We've just scratched the surface. So tonight is a great opportunity to go ask your questions, get some answers from Dr. Jepson and his staff. Again, that is happening tonight at the Murray City Library, 7 to 8.30. For more details, go to our website. We'll link you to utahhormonemd.com, a huge topic that affects so many women. Dr. Jepson, thanks so much. Thank you. All right, coming up next on Studio 5, we're sharing a few of our favorite things in the Studio 5 Loveless. Find out what locally made products made our pick this month.